Hello there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrometrologist. Welcome to Star Codes. This is a special edition outdoors, as you can see. And if you're listening to this podcast, you may hear some wind blowing. It's not as quiet as it is in my studio, so I apologize for that. But there is a reason I am outdoors today. It's because the forecast we're going to look at in the astronomerology is Venus sextile Uranus happening on June 11th. And of course, the number 11 is a portal. It's a portal of double new beginnings and this particular connection between Venus and Uranus really shows us that we need to just let go and restart in a beautiful way, but also in a very open way, in a way that embraces excitement and embraces the adventure that we're on now, clearly on now. So I wanted to be outdoors to show you there's a lot of uh, wind right now. I think there's a thunderstorm possibly coming here later, and which is always exciting. So that represents literally going with the flow and being one with nature, with the natural cycles of life. So, and I'll make this a little shorter just because it might not be so easy to listen to when the wind is blowing so hard. So let's go to the date first, June 11th. Now, 11 is a double one and the single one stands for the single person. So hence the word I in English looks like the number one. It stands for being single-minded, moving forward in a very individualistic way and having a sense of self, uh, being sovereign, being independent. And it's a very imaginative number as well. So when we put it together, when we double up the one, we have all those qualities, but obviously enhanced, expanded, and the double one creates a gateway. So it is like opening a door to a new chapter in your life, going into a new room you've never been to because it's double new beginnings. One is the first number, it represents new beginnings. So there is a, an invitation on any 11 day, whether it is an 11th of the month or whether the universal date adds up to 11, to let go of the past completely and trust that the universe has your back and that all you have to do is listen. And listening is really the key theme here because you're gonna be guided through all the change very easily and effortlessly when you tune in to the psychic master, the intuitive master, the 11. They're like two antennas, right, that, that are just constantly on listening mode and they are your internal guidance system and always lead you exactly where you need to be. And that goes for not just action, but also words, what it is you say. So we have the 11 and then we have Venus sextile Uranus and the 14 universal date because 6, 11, 20, 22 adds up to 14. So let's look at that 14 first because it ties into Uranus. It's a very similar message here. 14 is what I call the media number, but it is really about connection and communication. And it reduces to five and five is the number of freedom and change. Five faces two directions, left and right. It has a rocker, so it has like a half circle and it has straight lines. So it has really the whole geometry code within the number physically. And if you look at the fact that the universe is made up of straight lines and circles, it literally embodies that pivot point. And it does in the numbers itself. It is the middle number between one and nine. So it represents that pivot point. Hence the change, the decision-making, the openness to receive from all directions and the ability to just go with the flow, just like the wind behind me, <laughs> right? It's really picking up. So we have these squalls, right? And these squalls happen in our life. And 
sometimes there is a thunderstorm going through our life and we just have to adjust you know and then later on we clean up we pick up the pieces and and clear whatever rubbish has been blown around and um, and also see that it impacts the clearing process because that's really the reason for the storminess in our life it clears out something that is no longer necessary so this 14.5 and Uranus really represent that theme. So then we come to Venus sextile Uranus. Now Venus is the planet that rules Taurus and Libra. Mercury just was retrograde and still is in Taurus. It pivoted, it changed direction in Taurus and still is moving through that sign. So we have a Taurus emphasis right now and with Venus activated through Uranus and Uranus actually being in Taurus, I know I'm bringing up a lot of stuff here, but Uranus has moved into Taurus in 2018 and is currently there until around 2025. Venus sextile Uranus, while Uranus is in Venus sign, is a greater activation of the planet Venus. And fortunately, Venus is one of the planets we love to activate. Venus and Jupiter are the two benefics in astrology. Venus because it represents everything that is pleasurable, loving, abundant, joyful, beautiful, kind, social, and this shows that with the 11 code and the Uranus activation and the 14.5, there's a change afoot in all those areas we may change or adjust our values, Taurus rules values as well, about what it is we actually feel pleasure from. Is it the simple things or is it the complex things? Is it actually going outside and being in nature and feeling the wind and getting in touch with earth again and socializing one-on-one, -on -one, eye to eye with others? right? That brings pleasure because Venus is very connected to that. Taurus rules the throat, by the way. So the speaking in a pleasurable way and the ability to verbalize your feelings is also connected to this transit. So how do we do that? Do we do it in a way that brings us pleasure and bring the, brings those pleasure that we are connecting with? And what are we surrounding ourselves with in terms of our our home our studio or office our car is our car messy is it clean do we have it do we have our environment in place so that it brings us pleasure do we have beauty and colors and flowers and whatever it is that you love readily available and not only that consciously appreciated in our life so that when we see it we give thanks we engage so these are really some of the themes that are coming up. And because change is afoot, as you know, 2026 has continued and deepened this shift that is ongoing on Earth right now. And with all of us, within all of us, there is a great need to go within. And one reason this Star Code podcast is late this week is because I was immersed in creating a new training program that I got inspired to do a couple weeks ago. It's called Your Inner Star and it literally addresses your inner life in terms of your own personal astrology and numerology. And if you want to get a discount on that course, just sign up to the newsletter, my free newsletter on my website, tanyagabrielle.com. It'll pop up on your right. You just leave your name and email address. And until Friday, you will receive emails about this course, including the 40% off link, if that interests you. But nevertheless, your inner star, your, your heart, is where this change will be weathered and nurtured and birthed and awakened. So always be aware of how you feel and the messages that are coming through from spirit at all hours of the day, every moment of the day, to help you adjust to the major events that are going on. Now it is starting to rain a little bit here, speaking of which, I guess I came out at exactly the right moment. So I just wanted to say have a gorgeous week. Enjoy June 11th, I believe it's a Saturday. 
And the whole week as it builds up, it's actually a pretty quiet week in terms of the astro-numerology, but it is a lovely time to just get inspired by beauty and by what really matters, the simple things in life. So lots of love from me, and don't forget you have a star code as well, and you can discover your own personal blueprint at starcodeclass.com. It's a free masterclass all about your birthday and birth certificate name, your destiny, your purpose. It looks at your astrology as well. It's really fun, you get a handout. So go enjoy that when you have a moment or when you have 90 minutes, that is, at starcodeclass.com. So have a beautiful week. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week.